guys, welcome to the channel. I want to share with you this Nomos Orion 38. This is a gorgeous dress watch from Nomos that my good friend Tony lent in for review. Uh, so big thanks to you, Tony. Tony's an awesome guy. He sent in watches in the past to have uh, reviewed on the channel and we have traded watches with each other. So uh, really appreciate that, Tony. This is <laughs> this is a really fun watch and I am uh, I'm, I'm cr just crazy impressed with what Nomos has been able to do even at this $2,500 price category. So I'll, throw, I'll start the video by throwing some specs here on the screen so you can get a good sense of the, the size of this watch. It is impressively thin coming in at uh, nine millimeters overall in height. Uh, you can see a domed sapphire crystal there. And if you notice also on the case back, the exhibition case back is also ever so slightly domed. So a kind of cool attention to detail. And that is the theme for this watch is, is just highly planned out, highly executed, amazing attention to detail. So let's take a look at the dial on a macro level. We have a galvanized dial with a white silver plating. Uh, check out that texturing. That is really, really sharp. I mean, from afar, it, it just kind of looks like a white dial, but you get up close and you just see the detail work. And uh, I'm, I'm so impressed with that. We have gold indexes. They are applied. They're very thin. They complete that Bauhaus uh, minimalist look. I think they're very well executed. And uh, you have thermally blued hands here, which is really cool to see. Actually tempered steel there. Uh, if we look at the sub seconds register, we have a concentric circle galosh texturing. Again, very highly executed and just a really sharp looking dial. Now let's turn the watch over and look at probably what's even more impressive uh, is their in-house movement. This is the Caliber Alpha from Nomos. And I will throw some specs here on the screen uh, because I think this in-house movement is deserved of uh, some more in-depth attention. We have a very tastefully finished movement. It is hand winding. You can see a, a very well done three quarter plate. It has 17 jewels. And even if you look at the engraving, you can see it's done in German. It says Siebzehn Steine, which I think is <laughs> great. Nomos does regulate this to six different positions. So it will come very accurate out of the factory. And uh, again, we have tempered blued screws here, which is great to see, especially at this price point. The impressive part to me is the fact that this movement is only 2.6 millimeters in height. So that helps the watch uh, obtain that very thin profile. And it's carrying nice components as well. I mean, we have a Nivirox 1A hairspring. We have an Inkablock shock protector and a Trio Vis fine adjustment regulator. So uh, just really tastefully done, very accurate. And I think it's cool how they're able to do this in-house. So what are my thoughts overall? Um, uh, well, if you haven't been able to tell already, I just uh, am amazed at this watch. And I don't dress up very often. And this to me is a dress watch. So even though I probably wouldn't wear it very often, I'm going to keep my eye out uh, on the pre-owned market for one to add the to the collection at some point because it's just so well done. And it's such an enjoyable watch to see in person and to look at all those fine details and to appreciate the engineering and execution that went into this piece. I mean, even at, you know, even at the $2,500 price point, which is, you know, not a cheap price point, um, it's impressive. And this is not a cheap watch. I mean, the details are here. The execution is here. I mean, even down to the straps that Nomo supplies, this one is on a really well done suede. You can buy it on a shell Cordovan, which is my personal favorite type of leather. You know, really nice stitch work, uh, branded buckle, just a really cool watch. So a uh, big thanks to Tony for sending this in and allowing me some time with this gorgeous piece. I am <laughs> thoroughly impressed. Sorry, I forgot one thing. There's the winding action. Very mechanical, very precise, very nice uh, to operate. So before I forget, I, I wanted to show you guys that. So anyways, let me know if you guys have any questions. Again, big thanks to Tony and uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.